Hey everyone, I am Zeb Khan and I am a front-end engineer. Today I am going to show you how to add Tailwind CSS to your Angular 11.2 app so you can get building your layouts with it. Tailwind CSS is a utility-first CSS framework which is getting quite popular nowadays. It involves building your layouts using class names instead of adding custom CSS in your styles. More on this in a future video. But sensing its popularity, the Angular team added support for the framework in Angular 11.2, making it much easier to set it up than it was before. Let's quickly see how to do this. So first we have created a new Angular project. Then we'll install Tailwind CSS uh, from npm by using npm install in the developer environment and Tailwind CSS. Great, it's installed. Next, we need to add the Tailwind config file. For that, we'll use the Tailwind CSS init command with npx. Lastly, we just need to include the styles for Tailwind in our styles.scss file. <coughs> we have Tailwind base and we have a tailwind components and we have a tailwind utilities okay great and that's just about it tailwind is now all set up to be used one nifty trick to improve developer experience is to add the official tailwind intellisense plugin to your vs code so we'll just search for it in the marketplace and enable it. So if we search for Tailwind here, uh, we'll get this one Brad Corns. This is the official one and we're going to install it. And we're going to reload it, okay? Okay, so this enables it. Now if you go to your app.component.html and you start writing, you can see Tailwind classes appearing in the drop down. For example, background green or maybe flex. This helps out a lot when you're just starting out with Tailwind. Okay, to test this, let's do ng-surf and then create a simple button in Tailwind and incrementally see the changes. Okay, so we are going to start with uh, giving a full screen and some padding. Then we are creating a button here, we click here and we are going to add a background indigo color. Then some padding to it. Then we are going to make the edges round and the text white and uppercase and to top it off we're just going to add a hover style as well so that there's some interactivity on the button great nice the integration works well uh, now this will work as it is uh, okay as it is but with tailwind there's a huge styles file included in the project by default we need to purge the unused styles uh, when building for production. To do this, we need to add our project's paths to the purge section of the Tailwind CSS config. Something like this. We're going to do enabled is equals to true. And we're going to do um, your content as source and everything in the source uh, whether it is HTML or TS. Great. To test this purging what we are going to do is to run ng build prod at this point. First we are going to um, enable this false so that it's not enabled and we are going to test uh, ng build prod 
Okay, so as you can see, we have an error here that our uh, production build has exceeded our budget. And the reason is because as you can see, uh, uh, Tailwind has a huge styles file if you don't enable purge. So it's equal to 2.77 MB, which is uh, huge uh, because it's including all of the styles in it. Now, when we enable purge here, uh, we are going to run ng build prod again and we will we'll see whether this issue persists or not. Okay, now as you can see, um, uh, there's no error about uh, the budget and the styles are just 3 KB because we have just used a few of the styles here in our template. So that's it for now. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.